And while many can escape this, these bone chilling temperatures by turning up the thermostat, some people just can't. KDK's Erica Moke spoke with one woman who's been without heat for 13 hours. Yeah, that's right. Hours without heat on a day where it's below zero outside. Ashley Carisi says she calls herself the blanket queen. Well, her collection of blankets will certainly come in handy tonight. This is the thermostat right there. Ashley Carisi may seem merry, but her townhouse in Mount Lebanon is anything but bright or warm. I want the power to come back on, you know. It's the worst possible time because it's cold outside and it's Christmas weekend. Around 9 this morning, she says the power went out. When I'm calling them, they're like, well, we don't know the ETA yet. Hours later, the estimated time for her heat to arrive back in her vents is still unknown. It's going on almost 8 o'clock tonight, and, you know, we've been without power for almost like 12 hours now. Duquesne Light recorded nearly 30,000 outages across the region as a result of Friday's ruthless winter storm. For most customers, including some of Ashley's neighbors, the power is back on, which only adds to the bitterness of the situation. I didn't check the thermostat because it's just going to make me mad. Tonight, she and her roommates are relying on the glow of some battery-powered Christmas lights to see, blankets and layers to stay warm, and a little Christmas magic to remain positive. Hopefully, Duquesne Lake pulls off a miracle and, and uh, put the power back on. At last check, around 2,900 Duquesne Light -like customers were still offline. The company says it expects full restoration by 9 p.m. Christmas Eve. Reporting tonight, Erica Moke, KDK News.